binabanggit na ng mga commentator doon na napupuno na raw yung venue. And it wasn't because of Chinese or Iraqi fans. It was because the Filipinos were starting to file into the building. Kaya ito, all-out support on this Sunday para sa ating Gilas Pilipinas. And uh, the ball is about to get thrown up in the air. Well, nakita natin yung uniform ni Erfan, number 11. And he's 6'6", 33 years old. This is his fifth ball. Play is broken up. Here comes Qatar. Mukhang basang-basa ng Qatar. Yung drive, yung dribble drive offense natin. Packing the paint. And here's the outside shot from Qatar. Three-pointer delivered there by the Qataris. Kung tayo, no bearing sila naman. Nothing to gain up but pride for this particular game. At yun yung isang pinakamahirap kalaban. A team with nothing to lose or gain. Exactly. No, they're 0-2 in this tournament. They're out of contention for the quarterfinals. And there's the first two points going to Gabe Norwood. What a tournament he's playing. Two ways. He's also in his fifth tour of duty para sa Gilas pagdating dito sa FIBA Asia Championship level. And here's Jason Castro. He buries a three. Hatid sa atin ng San Miguel Light. Mahababang inuma. Palagay ko, babawi ito si Jason. He was zero out of shooting. Kaya baseline inbound lang para dito sa Qatar. Efron with the leather gives it up. They go over to Mansour El Hadari. Inside they go for the 14 for jumper and it is delivered by Abdel Halim. Also one of their veterans. And there's the outside shot, Matthew Wright. Three pointer na naman at it's atin. Iran, when we beat Iran in the final, it will most likely be against either Australia or New Zealand. As we go along this week. Almazan with the jam. And the extra pass, the assist coming from Jason Castro. Makita natin. Yung penetration, he draws the defense. At tapos nahahanap niya kung sino yung libre sa ilalim. That's an outside shot from known as Mizo Amin. That's right, he's 6'3", 26 years old. Abueva hasn't really gotten a lot of run in this tournament as Gabe buries the corner three. Gilas firing on all cylinders in this first frame. Again, yung three-point shooting natin. No? Patuloy lang ang ating mga kababayan dyan sa Beirut at pag-iingay. Aguilar will track down the rebound and dribble it all the way out. Abueva underneath. Nakita si Wright! Yung sinasabi natin ng extra pass, unselfish basketball. Nakita natin si Calvin. Nahuli niya. Si Mutulay, pang matagalan. Gabe with the board. Right on the move. Over to Abueva for the floater. Japet gets us another possession. Japet's in trouble. Manages to save it to Jason. Sakanto, it is right. Bang! Matthew Wright again ringing the bell. You see, na sabi natin, locating the open shooters. It's unselfish basketball. We're racking up the assists. And we're racking up the points. I'm up to it's at the top. into that one. Terence, first touch of a rock. And you can hear the crowd. Now this is almost like a home court para sa atin. Romeo pitches it out. Gabe bounces to right. Bam! Uh, no wonder we call him Mr. Right. 23-11. means new world records or world standings ng bawat uh, koponan. And that's important because of the seeding procedure when FIBA draws lots. Palalon, getting an early call here from Coach Chod as the ball is with Romeo. Palalon from Abueva looking for the opening, kicks it back out. Carl Bryan Cruz buries the long bomb. Hunting Sati the Sambic like Mahabahabang Inuma. Romeo on the attack. Malakas yung kanya pass. Ito na ang Qatar sa kabila. Al Hadari takes it all the way to the cup. Alalon trying to go to on that early attack. Gabe from the right side back over to Gio. Abueva thought about the three, looking to drive closer. Drops it off inside to Cruz. Ducky Alaska faces connecting on that one. In this quarter, he's got five points. Play na yan at it's open from that wing. 
Doesn't work. Cobrank Cruz keeps it on our side. Halalon down the middle. Inside the Cruz. And Cruz is getting all the points. He had a three-pointer card, Brian Cruz. What a revelation. But what a pass, Kalika Gio Halalon. Power move the quarter. Not in the end of the stretch for Natin as a card, Brian. Not just from the outside, but likewise from the inside. We don't have to miss the miss yung the problem of our time natin because of fouls. Bea now part of five on a beat of the car. They go to the baseline drive. A strong move there on the part of Saad. Nakawala din si Saad. I thought we were playing a little bit of a zone that is. Sampu ang abante rito ng Gilas. Saad with the leather. Pagunta sa kanyang kanan, it is Bizo back over to Saad. Mintis yung huling dalawang preter niya. Pakalik siya kay Mizo. That three-pointer is delivered. From the right wing, I think Satin and Sandy Clyde. Mahaba, haba, Iduma. In that time, we did play a zone defense. Nakita yun ng Qatar, and they set up for the outside shot to Tumama. Masa pito, abante rito ng Gilas. Carl Bryant Cruz got it again. Ten in the game for CBC. Balik din sa sampu ang abang. Coming up on the two-minute warning na ng ating first half. Half-time break, ah. makakasama ulit natin si uh, Sir Seb with the Sports 5-7. Ito na, talagang bumabawi si Jason Castro. Jason buries the long bomb, stretching this lead to 13. And looks like someone is down. Uh-oh. Man down here. Calvin. Ito makita natin yun ang nangyari. Oh, again, nadula siya. No? There's that slick portion. That's the second time na nadula si Calvin. And uh, I think the organizers have to do something about that uh, slick portion. Very dangerous yan sa mga player natin. Not only for the Philippines, but from all sides. We've got to make sure that play conditions are tipped up. Uh -huh. Uy, 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 teka. Uy, tanga na yun. Hinahagi yung bata. Huwag naman, huwag naman. Eh, yun ang literal na bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Qatar on the attack. Gila's trying to take it right back. El Adari goes over to Mohamed. Saad with a putback. Nasasabi lang natin that we haven't been giving offensive rebounds to Qatar. Ito si Saad. Getting the putback off the offensive rebound. Time kicking away here. In the first half, lead is still a double-digit advantage for Team Filipinas. Edwin three-pointer. Yes! R.R. Pogoy ringing the bell from beyond the arc. Again, it's that three-point shot. In the middle of the first, or rather in the middle of the second quarter, Lubamang ang uh, Qatar in the turnover department. We had turned 10 turnovers and they only had five. Here's another turnover against Team Filipinas. And a counter turnover! Are we on? Off the seal by Matthew. Corner three-pointer. Yes! Bryant Cruz delivers! What a shot and maker. Sandy Clyde. How about Eve Ruman? How about Seed? Neck injury. But we're taking a look at Calvin, top of your screen. Smoke on next season. Tas na ng kanyang sapatos no. He might be ready to go in the second half. Well, let's hope so. Chapet will attack. Putting it on the floor. And gets the bounce. DC webbing on the bande ng Gilas Pilipinas. Only the first basket of the game para dito kay Aguilar. Iba ito ang third quarter storm na pinapakita natin. Remember, when we beat Iraq, we had a 28-9 third quarter surge in that contest. Yeah, Ladari comes up with a response though. He is leading his squad in terms of scoring. Trying all he can to keep themselves within striking distance. But Gabe Marwood will have none of it. Three-pointer is good for Norbert. That's what it's out in a standing light. Aba, bang, Iduma. That's two out of three from beyond the arc. Para kay Gabe Norwood. Second straight game that he has buried two three-pointers. Dalawang po na po ang abante ng Gilas. Nabawasan ng dalawa ni Saad. He has struggled. He has bled. But there's the shot. The clock was winding down. Matthew on the move all the way to the cup. Just like that, the Dean Gilas Filipinas has broken this game wide open, forcing another timeout. Para dito sa Qatar. 
Gilas getting the stops and getting up and running. Ay, magkakating sa atin ng Oppo F3 Plus para sa ikan. Natin from three pointers in the first half. Saad with the leather. Off this to Martana. Mohamed back on the floor. The big man looking to attack Cruz. Inside they go. High low. They are looking to impose their height once again. Can he this third frame? Castro to the corner. Carl Bryan Cruz once again. Voila. Pogno underneath. Carl Bryan Cruz looks shaken up in the backcourt. Inabuche on that three point try. May landing spot yata ang nangyari doon. Holding on to his ankle. Again, attacking the zone defense ang Qatar. Tumira ng uh, three-point shot si Carl Bryan. Let's watch it again. Here's the pass. And then, ito. You've got to be it was aware a, about that landing spot. Pero it was, Contact. both of them, it was a hard challenge. Pero it would have at least... It's going to examine that as a possible rule in the next season because of what happened during the playoffs on Kawhi Leonard. El Hadari all the way. Qatar not... will kick it out to the wrong man. And Qatar will get a chance. Three on two. El Hadari sneaks one through. For the foul previously. Yes, that will be the third team foul now against Team Philippines. El Adari jumps a pass inside to Mohamed. Same play. Tatat Lomintis from that free throw line compared to the 6 of Qatar. El Hadari with the letter looking to attack Romeo's defense. El Hadari gets the drop on him. Oh, oh lalim shot. naman ang pinagdugutan nun. Power move to corner at sa atin ng Cobra Energy Drink. Tunay na lakas. I'm showing some Terrence Romeo moves that time in going strong to the hole. Pogoy looking at Japet. Gabe's got to get out of that paint. Romeo trying to extricate himself. Right was a pass out to right. Matthew buries the long bomb. Play na yan natin sa atin ng Motolite. Pang matagal. At mga pa yata sinabi si Matthew Wright doon sa kanyang defender from Qatar. Ang ganda ng pasa galing kay Terrence Romeo. Yung location of the open outside shooter. Alig sa labing tatlo. Abante ng Gilas. Saad down the middle. Masukot ang Qatar. They're shooting 43.9%. And that is naked about 44% field goal shooting now. As against the Philippines, 36.5. So ang baba na ating shooting percentage. Oh, 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 oh. oh, what about that? Slam dunk galing kay Gabe Norwood from nowhere. Offensive rebound and a slam. Here, missed by Terrence, but Gabe flying from out of no play. It's not in San Miguel Pain Pilsen. Sarap ng uli. But then, if you see the Laro Dito and Gabe Norwood, he was a late call up to the national team. But what a way he's playing offense and defense. And again, the mid range shooting is sad. He's got to be stuck. Sampu pare ng abanti rito ng Gilas Pilipinas. Romeo goes to Norwood. You've got Almazan, Halalon, and Pogoy with them. And he's double teamed. Pogoy. Oh. Will sneak it through. Beautiful finger roll. Mula dito kay Roger Ray. Star down by 12. Here's the ball screen for Qatar. Eladari. And then going one and one against Terence. Bulikani Terence. Underneath. Oh, oh look at that. Gabe. Again, Gabe Norwood. Raymond will lay it home. Excellent play day. Pinahanap nila kung sino yung libre. Ito yung defense. Gabe Norwood. Pangalawang black shot yan. Ni Gabe. Play na yan atin sa atin. Ang moto lang. Pangatag ako. Qatar with an opportunity here. During that time out, yung ating director, iniikot yung kanyang mga kanina. All smiles and gilas faithful in attendance. Pero yun, medyo mapapangawit dahil nakapres. Itong si Al Mufta. That does bring Qatar back with a nine. Wala na pong pitong minuto natin dira sa bakbakan na ito. Gilas on the attack. Norwood to right. Thought about it. Now pulls the trigger. Matthew delivers the long bomb. Ha 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 ha. By a dozen, okay na yan. Law of averages will dictate sa Wednesday. Grabe ang shooting ni Dennis niya. Ha 
Ooh, nice attack here by Saad. Nahabul nga in kanyang mga scoring average DW. Another two points on the inside here for Qatar. And another three pointer coming from Matthew Wright. And he stares down his defender. Bet it was put to stop on right. And by the way, Menon on contest of Twitter. Uh, guess the top scorer of the Philippines in this game. Of course, my cutoff was 9 p.m. Oh, hindi ah, hinula ko right. Sinabi ko kanina right. Marami nakahula kay Rides. Hindi po natin makakalaban either Australia or New Zealand until we make it to the final. That's of course, if we make it to the final, I think we will. And Matthew Wright, or oh, that time, Halalon. This one, all our attention will be on that Japan-Korea game. Either way, should be a big matchup. Both of those squads, matagal na nating nagkakatapat on the international scene. Natin na sila na naman ang katapat. Also, Imposible we remember, in 2013, FIBA Asia Championships in Manila. Tinalo natin ang Korea sa semifinal. But, uh, Diyan na naman eh, yung Takeuchi. And meron din silang naturalized import, si Ira Brown. And Qatar now, hitting the shots consecutively. Pilipinas. Qatar playing for pride right here. Terence running a step back. Finally, para kay Terence, he gets a field goal. I remove the corner at its happen. And Cobra Energy Drink, 2 9 of us. We needed a basket. We went to Terence Romeo. He delivered. 75 68. Gilas trying to hold off this last push by Qatar. Reverse is good. Para dito, ke Al Mufta. Too many layups being scored here by Qatar. Last two minutes, not in Satin. Nang Cobra, sa Cobra Energy Drink. May lava ka. Jap it to the corner. Right delivers the long bomb. The outside shooting in Team Filipinas has been amazing. Especially right, 7 of 11 oh. from distance. And Kanina nakita na ako si Terrence Romeo. I mean, that three-point shot has been a bailout weapon para sa atin. And while Erfan trying to go mm. close to the basket, and he makes it again. You know, it's a battle of inside points galing sa Qatar and the outside points coming from the Philippines. Castro may tanga ng bola. Tinatawag itong si Romeo. Castro dribbles away from trouble. Time definitely on the side of Gilas. There's a switch. Attack time now with seven remaining on the shot clock. Right to Terence. Puts it up. Couldn't get the bounce. Oh, yun na naman yung umilalim na rebound. Na hopefully nobody gets hurt the rest of the way with exactly a minute to go here. Gira reklamo ni Japit para oh. nasahod siya. Oh, here we go with a steal and a counter steal. Saad to the other side. <laughs> umilalim na naman kay Japit yung box out. Here's Matthew Wright. That time missing, but Jason Castro with control. And with Qatar not playing the foul game here, looks like it is going to be another W for Aguilas. Terence from Japet. Japet Aguilar has been banged up, has been hammered. Walang tawag. At that time, a nice dish. Terence Romeo. That could be the final nail on the coffin. So, already a virtual win. Para sa ating Gilas Pilipinas on our way to sweeping group play. That's right, but I'm not even that to coach Andreas. Making sure that the defensive instructions are clear. If there's a pick and roll, he wants our defenders to go over the pick because he understands that Qatar is going to go for the three point shot. And there's a turnover against the Philippines. 17.2 seconds to go. This game is over. Philippines will sweep Group B no matter what happens in his last possession. Bukas, maglalaban ang Japan at Korea, 11.30 ng gabi. Mapapanood live on Action TV. At yung mananalo doon, ating makakatapat sa quarterfinals pagdating ng Mer. Finish here with over 20 points across his name. Should be the final sequence coming up here. Unless Qatar decides to foul. There you go, Jason Castro. He's trying to keep it away. And Qatar plays a rugged ground of basketball. You can ask Japheth Aguilar. Ang dami ng beses. Not a man in the rebounding play. And look at this. It's something you don't want to see. Yeah. This team, Qatar, is already going home. Ang ating Gilas Pilipinas papunta pa sa knockout stage. But there you go. At least at the end, we see everybody showing sportsmanship. That's right. And Jason Krasik is putting the ball on the floor. 
Con la pasta per il tizio di Gira Catania, per il mio amico in un foul. I mean, what for? You gotta respect the game, you have to respect the opponent. And for Team Philippines, sweep of Group B, moving on automatically to the knockout quarterfinals on Wednesday against the